just want to give you a few tips on how to build some uh, components for beehives. This is what we do in the winter time as beekeepers. We try to keep up with everything, get everything built for spring and, and ready to go. That way we're not at the last moment trying to prepare ourselves. This here is a bottom board. This is what the finished product is going to look like. I use one by fours to make this product here. This is a, the side rail. This is going to be 22 inches by 2 inches. You're going to dado a 3 quarter inch groove into it about halfway through the board. You do this on each side. You're going to have a back piece that's going to be 2 inches by 8 and a half inches. Same here, 3 quarter inch dado blade cut in here. When you do this, you want to make sure your dado blade, you have 3 quarter inch right here on all three pieces. So when your entrance reducer goes on here, you can put it in and it'll fit. If not, then it's going to be too big or too small. Make sure this top to bottom to the dado is 3 quarter inch. I make this with 1x4 pieces of wood. I take, take the 1x4s and I double dado each side, 3 quarter inch, halfway through the wood. It's going to fit like a puzzle piece. Your very last piece that's going to go on the back is going to be actually flat. It's not going to be dado there, so it'll fit better. When you put it together, it's just like a puzzle piece. You're just putting them together, stacking them over and under until you get to the full length of your bottom board. The reason I like using the 1x4s and piecing them together is like, like this is because when moisture gets on this, if it starts any warping in here, this piece of wood will counteract this piece of wood and keep it straight so you don't have the warping so bad in your, in your beehive and you're not losing your bottom boards. Just a moisture control thing and a warping control. When it's all done, it looks like this. I simply staple it down the sides when I'm putting it together. A few staples in the back. I like gluing my grooves together to make sure the beetles and mites and stuff can't get in there. And I paint my bottom boards when I'm also done. This is one piece I do paint completely in the hive. Um, hope this video helps you. Uh, if you have any other suggestions or comments, please let us know. And thank you very much.